Today we're out and about and I'm actually going to show you how easy it is to use the Storm Drain DIY drainage system. Now the house behind us, they've got second owners and they've inherited a problem when it comes to drainage. Some paving's been put down and it's roughly the same height as the dam course. So when it puddles up, the water's getting into the wall and damaging inside the house. Now I know the homeowner started and lifted a few pavers, but by the time we put this in, there'll be no moisture inside the house and any moisture outside on the pavers will move away to the stormwater. Let's get stuck in. G'day, Murray. Jason, how are you? Good, mate. I shake your hands, Good. but they're full. Nice to see you, though. Oh. How are you going? Mate. Good, mate. So what sort of issues did you have before well, here? Well, um, about six weeks ago, we had torrential rain that didn't stop for about two days. Yeah. And when I came out to inspect, there was water up against the wall down here and further up there. And um, I began to wonder where the water was going. So I went into the bedroom and, of course, was wet all along the wall of the bed in the carpet. So uh, that was the beginning of the, the investigation. So I dug holes and found that water was right up against the house. Well, you can see sort of the shadow line there on the bottom weatherboard yep. where yeah. you know, that would have been the height of the water. Yep. So instantly you got problems there. Oh, well, by the end of the yeah. day, it'll look smart. It'll move yeah. the water away and it'll work smart as well. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So what products do we exactly need to finish this job off? Well, I've got the two DIY kits, which means I've got eight meters of the drain. And from the edge of the house to where it kicks out is exactly eight meters, so I'll use all of that. Then we've got a 90 degree corner and a four way connector. That'll get me around that kink in the house and I'll put it to an inline pit which lowers the water and it also lowers where I'm connecting to the storm water. So the water's got gravity to get away. Now, because it's an eight metre straight line, I've got these connectors, these joiners, which will stiffen it up and give me a nice straight line. So it'll make it stronger and make it look better as well. The first thing I've done is I've laid everything out dry. Now, at the highest end, I'm gonna put the end cap. It simply slides in there, drains in position, and now I can start using the joiners and putting these lengths together. Connecting one length of storm drain to another is really simple because at opposite ends of each section, there's a different fitting. One simply slides inside the other. Now probably one of the trickiest things we need to do is come around this bend here. We've got the weatherboard coming out to the render we want the drain to follow the pavers in that pattern. So I'm using two different fittings. I've got a 90 degree band. All I've done is taken the grade out of it because it's a little bit easier to work with and manipulate. And I've got a four way connector. Now, these are very versatile. I can knock out all four sides and I can have a drain running off in every direction, knock out three, or in this case, I'm just gonna knock out two to create a smaller 90 degree bend. Now I've done all my plumbing to connect to the stormwater downpipe dry. And I've just used the texture to line things up so I can pull it apart, put my glue and my cleaner on it, put it back together and I know I've got the exact right angle. So what I'm going to do now is throw some mud in. So mud is cement and sand, mix, mix it together with water and you call it mortar. Now, it's kind of the consistency of stiff toothpaste. What I'm doing here with the mortar is just creating some pads, like a, a footing. If I was to go and fill the whole thing with mortar, when I put the eight meters of drain in, it could potentially swim. It'd be very hard for me to tap it down and get it nice and straight in one plane. But with the footings, it's easier to maneuver and work with. And then once I've got it right, I can backfill. And because these drains have got a honeycomb sort of network on the side, the mortar will bond into it. Now it's pretty obvious that we're not driving cars on it here, it's right up next to the house. So I'm using mortar, it's easier to work with than concrete. But if it was a driveway, you'd go that extra step. The concrete gives it a lot more strength and your drain's never gonna move. Now at this point, I'm gonna put this whole eight metre length in and sit it on my little pads. Now I can't do it on my own, so I've called in the neighbours. You ready? One, two, three, lift it up. Beautiful. Now I'll just tap it down to match my pavers. Everything's in place, we're on the home run. It's connected to the stormwater and it's looking fantastic. Now I'm just going back to these corners and I'm gonna run some silicon around it just to make it watertight and to connect everything together. 
Now it's super important that all your grates are in position before you backfill with concrete or mortar. If you don't do it, there'll be zero chance of you getting them in there after the concrete set. Another little cheat tip is cover the drain with some masking tape. Now I'm only doing the one side because I'm putting mortar in on this side. But if you're really messy and you don't trust yourself, cover the whole thing. Then when you finish the job, you can simply pull it up and you've still got a nice clean drain. And a smart little safeguard is putting in one of these leaf guards. It means that you can manually get in here and clean out leaves rather than calling a plumber and paying for an electric eel. Well, it looks fantastic, but most importantly, it has solved the problem and future issues as well. Now, what you've got to take into account is the pavers are falling along the end of the house, but also towards the house. And then the mortar that we've put in and rendered up is falling away from the house. So any water that falls on this surface is guided into the storm drain. We've wiped down the side of the house, it looks better already, and we've resolved the issues that could potentially damage the inside of the house. With Storm Drain, you can tackle jobs like this at home quite easily. And with the how-to videos and the information on the website, I reckon it's worth giving it a go at your place. If you want more information or retailers in your area, simply click on our website and it's all there waiting for you.